Hey, Texas Values friends, Jonathan Sines here, president of Texas Values. I'm here with my colleague, Mary Elizabeth Castle, and Chelsea Yeoman from Human Coalition. She was in the courtroom earlier, one of the most important in case overturned Roe versus Wade. The issue before the court is about the issue of abortion, but it's not about limiting it or ending it in any way. It's just about safety measures for chemical abortion procedures. But this is coming out of the state of Texas, so it was good we had a Texas lawyer in the courtroom. Chelsea, what'd you hear? It was no shortage of fireworks today inside the courtroom. Um, really, the justices had a lot of questions. The most defining moment for me that came out of oral arguments was when Justice Alito and Justice Roberts highlighted this question and I think it's, it, it puts really the entire case on point how many women getting harmed is enough what is that threshold yeah well look and I mean when you think about now chemical abortions make up the majority of abortions that are happening that number could be quite large Mary Elizabeth you're here with us too. There was a lot of women here. That presence has been strong. I know this is a Texas, um, and, and it shouldn't be a hard issue though at the Supreme Court. We're talking about safety measures, but strong voices for women on display here today, and you were a part of that. Yeah, there were a lot of women here, including women doctors, talking about the danger of these chemical abortion pills. Now we know it ends one life, but many times it ends two lives. They talk about how the safety measures really keep women from sometimes being septic, going to the hospital. Uh, the warnings that they give on these chemical abortion pills are not accurate. You had women talking about how they took these abortion pills and the severe bleeding and cramping that uh, endured afterwards. One in 25 women go to the emergency room when they take these pills, so these pills should not be taken lightly. In fact, the last woman who spoke at the rally was actually a woman from Texas whose husband poisoned her with abortion pills, and she talked about how if she had not found out in time, she wouldn't have been able to do the abortion pill reversal, which is actually helping a lot of women who are uh, deciding against taking the abortion pills and able to save their baby. She was able to save her baby, um, and as you know, her husband is being prosecuted for that, but she was also able to save her own life as well through that abortion pill reversal. Well, and look, as you mentioned, Judge Kaczmarek's name came up in the oral argument. Uh, we know that he is from the state of Texas. This case came out of the state of Texas, but it's not about him. I mean, this would be a very simple issue. For close to two decades, these safety measures were in place. But we'll find out by June what the outcome is going to be. Uh, Chelsea, human coalitions involved in states uh, all across the country, but I know you're headquartered in Texas. Um, but you're doing some work right now in other states. Tell us what's going on. Yes, well, at Human Coalition Action, we are really working hard um, to work. It. We're in eight states right now working to serve pregnant women in need. That's it. Our sister organization, Human Coalition, serves about 40,000 women a year who are seeking abortion. Um, and really, because we're serving women in need, we know why they're seeking abortion, what the abortion trends are, and we're translating that into meaningful policy reform, but also advocating for women. Well, look, um, the... Our argument is over, but this issue is not over. The case is not over. We could know by the end of June, but a lot of times cases like these, that is when they're decided. But our legislature meets next year. I imagine this issue will be a part of it as well as we continue to protect life, but also the health and safety of women and bring you updates here from the U.S. Supreme Court. We'll have more to say later today from Texas Values. God bless.